Today we're going to show you how to install a Leaf Eater Original. A Leaf Eater Original can either be installed onto a downpipe like this or using the gutter dropper that's included with it. Today we're going to be showing you how to install a downpipe version. So the first step is to decide your installation point. You want to install your Leaf Eater Original on a vertical section of downpipe and you want to make sure that it's installed at least 500 mils above your tank inlet. For the purpose of this installation today, we're going to install our Leaf Eater Original about here. The next step is we want to cut the downpipe so that the Leaf Feeder Original can rest in place on the bottom section. So there's our first cut. So now we want to cut the top part of the downpipe at an angle to match the screen of the Leaf Feeder Original. Using your rain head as a guide, cut the top pipe at an angle matching the screen and offset it above the screen between 30 and 50 millimetres. This allows debris to clear away off the Leaf Eater Original, but also gives the water the best chance of going through your rain head and into your tank. So now we have that top section of pipe cut at the right angle and the right offset. The next step is to glue on our slip coupling. You can skip this step if you're using a socket on the bottom part of your downpipe. And now we've put that slip coupling in place, the next step is to install your rain head. Before we do that, we just want to make sure we remove the first mesh screen off the rain head. And this will allow us enough space to slip the rain head up behind the top section of downpipe. We just position the rain head into the slip coupling like that. And now that's in position, we're just going to screw it in place. And the only thing left to do here is to just reinstall our mesh screen. Don't forget to secure the screen with these side clips. And that's it. Your Leaf Eater Original is installed correctly.